let Inam the Kanu go home, says Olushegun Adeniyi. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got your ears this morning. As our headline for this morning says it that let Inam the Kanu go home, says Olushegun Adeniyi. We added up Inam the Kanu has apprehended. Uh, in Amdikanu was apprehended in Kenya in June 2021 by security agencies and brought home to face trial, first arraigned on 14th October 2015, before eventually securing bail and fleeing the country. The proscribed indigenous people of Brafia IPB leader was slammed with a with an 11 count charge, bordering and terrorism treasonable felony, managing an unlawful society, publication of defamatory matters, illegal possession of firearms, and improper importation of goods. Kanu was also accused of inciting violence through television, radio, and online broadcasts that resulted in the loss of life and property civilians of, properties of civilians, military, paramilitary, police force, as well as the destruction of civil in the institutions and symbols of authorities in the southeast. Following, following his arraignment, I wrote a column the Tiki trial of Inamdekanu, where I drew parallels between the tri his, his trials and that of his friend, now turned foes, Mujahid Dukombu Asari, who was charged with similar offenses under President Ulushe Gombasunjo because some people cannot differentiate between Prafia and the Igbos. Kanu has been able to create as we versus them narrative on what remains an emotional injury in the Igbo collective psychics. I wrote before reaffirming, re reaffirming the points I made in my first October in my first October 2017 platform platform Nigeria presentation a nation on the edge which which way Nigeria where I spoke about the danger Kanu posed to ethnic relations in Nigeria by his conduct and utterance Kanu has succeeded in alienating many open-minded Nigerians outside the Southeast who appreciate the legitimate demand of Igbo people for fairness, equality, and justice in inconclusive nation. They can call their own. I pointed out while rephrasing a number of his reckless dear tribes, especially against Igbo people, urged by on by urged on by a mob with online support from several of his kinsmen in the diaspora, Kanu was allowed to take hate speech to an unprecedented level, even when he was presented in a golden opportunity to champion the genuine grievance of his people with civility, following an ill-advised treason trial that, that catapulted him into national limelight and prominence. Kanu could also rise beyond the mere doctrine of the adulation of some street oceans. I had said at my 2017 Platform Nigerian presentation, Kanu felt that by making incendiary statements to offend, insult, intimidate, and threaten people from other ethnic groups, he was helping whatever, whatever his cause was. At the end, he made a strategic miscalculation. He then concluded saying that I don't know whether Kano still sees Nigeria as a zoo rather than a country, but it is really doesn't matter. What is what is important is that he continues incarceration is now his continued incarceration is now pointless. And as for those who pleaded the nonsense, let the law take its course line, the Australian deal with the United States that saw Tuesday release of weak lead founder Julian Asnage is proof positive that even the most powerful of countries can be pragmatic in dealing with such matters. Therefore, all factors considered, President Tinibu should take the high road on Kanu, the IPB leader, should be allowed to go home. And that was all that was said concerning this headline today, which says here that, which says it that, let Inambi Kanu go home, says Ulushegu Adeni. Well, this is just a write-up that Lushebo Adeni says, saying that let Inandikanu go home. You can see, let's just add him to one of the people who is who, who is asking the president and his led administration to for the freedom of Inandikanu. 
because I don't I don't see I don't see any reason why this man is still in jail by this time. Seriously, I do not see any reason. He stated a lot of points that I was not even able to read out for you guys right now, right here. But looking at the comment section that I have here, Victor Iwobi says that he will only go with his demand, detaining him for all the years without fault, and you will want him to go without his effort in futility. Let the right thing be done, please. And what is that right thing? Is it the platform of random they are, they are talking about? Because, because he says that that um brother that we are fighting for is a little is pointless now. But the federal government should release him for peace to reign. But and you now in the comment section, you're not saying that you should go you, you want him to go without his effort in futility. Like like you don't want like we, we want him to go without him fulfilling his effort effort. Like is that what is that what you're trying to say? Say let the right thing be done. Is, the right thing that I think that is in your mind is the Brighton referendum. And that is another thing entirely. Seriously. I don't know if this country this right now this country is shaking. Like seriously, this country is shaking. Monday Godwin says, How many times will you be warned to stop addressing IPOB as an as a terrorist organization? Mad people everywhere. It's true, my, my it's true, my brother. My people everywhere. Happy B is not a terrorist organization, like Aloy Marco said. That anybody who addresses them as a terrorist organization will be sued to court. But the fight for the release of Indian Khan is not over. He is just one of the people who just who just recently spoke up, saying that the release of that the Tinubu should just let him go home. He is just one of the people. The fight is not yet over. So what do you guys think? Let me see your comment below in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button here, the big red one, and the notification bell. So that anytime I have any new video concerning this, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day ahead of you.